The throttle is stuck though, as you can see. <laughs> Shit. It's kind of like a one foot driving on a Tesla kind of, except the opposite. Oh, there's the brakes. They didn't work. If you ain't pulling the brakes hard, you deserve to plow into whatever's in front of you. Oh, let's try the brakes. Oh, they don't work. Do you see that? Look, fully engaged. My GT2 is trying to kill me. Good morning, everyone. Today's a bit of a different video today. Unfortunately, a uh, slightly negative one. The GT2 has been acting up a little bit. The throttle gets stuck. And so then, you know, that stinks. You're, you continue rolling even though you don't want to. So then your gut reaction is to grab the brake. And that doesn't work either. It's like, it feels like a kind of a sick joke, but you know, whatever. Um, so the throttle's actually kind of stuck right now, I think. I'm not totally sure, but I'm curious what'll happen if I put it in walk mode. Oh, no, it doesn't want. Why no one? So it actually won't go into walk mode because I think it is stuck. There we go. See that? Yeah. It's like it's sticky. There, it's stuck again. I actually am wearing these uh, wrist guards thanks to uh, a user on Reddit. I'll put a screenshot of his username here. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that motorcycle gloves, even if they're really expensive ones, um, just didn't protect your wrist from hyperextending. Uh, and I think that's the injury that most people are likely to get, like a hyperextended wrist. So, yeah, I would highly recommend that you get some. But anyway, let's see if we can film the brakes failing in action. I'm uh, sacrificing life and limb for y'all. Okay. Okay, so that works. It's working today. That's weird. You ever take your car to the shop? And then you're like, oh yeah, it's making this weird noise. And then you bring it in and it's not doing it. And then like literally when you leave, it starts doing it again. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Cause um, yesterday the rear brake just didn't engage. It seems to be working today though. The throttle is stuck though, as you can see. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's kind of nice. It's kind of like a... <laughs> it's kind of like a one foot driving on a Tesla kind of, except the opposite. But anyway, so here we are with our stuck throttle going about our day. This is kind of convenient. If you want, you can pay me to stick your throttle. And I'll just uh, pull the faulty brake here. There we go, yep. What happens if we switch to sport mode? Oh, okay. This is interesting. You know what? I quite like this. I changed my mind. This is back to praising the GT2. This uh, zero hand driving, great. I love it. Oh man, I'm looking a little unique for y'all today. I'm trying to go to the gym, so I'm wearing my lifting belt. And then above that is the GoPro chesty. And then I'm wearing the full face helmet, partially for safety and partially so that my mix setup will work. Yeah, I have these wrist guards as well. I'm looking a little like a clown, but that's okay. Oh man, we're out here living in luxury. Oh, there's the brakes. They didn't work. Ugh. I had them fully pinned there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I feel like every time like I pull up to the stoplight and I'm like, hmm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna run it. It turns green like literally a split second before I do almost every time. It knows. It's a, it's a homie trying to look out for me. It's like, don't break the traffic laws, bro. I'll just let you go. And I was like, all right. We're a dog. Thank you. So I started trying to get like segue to honor some sort of warranty because both of these problems are pretty catastrophic. And like, I have like around 370 miles on this thing. And this all started happening a couple days ago. Okay, nope. Okay. 
<laughs> Should I unstick the throttle soon, yo? I'm just kind of curious to see if I can make it all the way work, all the way to work on this uh, stuck throttle. <sighs> Crazy. But yeah, anyway, so the folks at Segway, um, I'm trying to get them to honor the warranty. And so I told them that the brakes weren't really working and I, uh, they asked for a video. So I sent them a video of me depressing the rear brake completely. Um, and then just walking around with the scooter and like the wheels were r rolling and everything. And they're just like, then they like tell me, they're like, oh, you should see this response from our technicians. And then they have some dudes like talking in Chinese, I presume. Um, like with their own gt2 with like a bunch of stickers on it for some reason um just uh the, what they're doing is they're very slowly engaging the brake and then when they do that it doesn't engage at all but they like you know pulled it all the way but they just did it slowly and so it doesn't engage and then when they pull it quickly it does engage and so i'm like so are you trying to tell me that that's normal like you you don't like it if i feather the brake like I think what they're effectively trying to say is that, like, if you ain't pulling the brakes hard, you deserve to plow into whatever is in front of you. Because, like, I don't know, like, I, I guess their mindset's like, yeah, like, why would you, like, only sort of, like, brake? Why would you roll on the brakes? To me, the brake is like an on or an off switch. You gotta, if you want to survive, you gotta mean it. Brake like you mean it. I, you know what, I think Segway has a good philosophy. It's kind of like, you know, how I approach dating, too. Like, if you... If you want to ask somebody out, you got to do it with confidence. It's like chem lab. Like you want to pour a liquid out of a cup, you got to pour it with confidence. Otherwise, it'll spill everywhere. You don't want to spill your guts everywhere. Pull that brake lever with confidence. But also, these same brakes don't have ABS, and so they'll skid if you pull them too hard. So you have to find like that that comfort zone. You know, it's a skill not to get into an accident on the GT2. Uh, let's try the brakes. Oh, they don't work. Do you see that? Look, fully engaged. They eventually come to a stop, but like, that's pathetic. Oh, bro, that ain't right. That wasn't even slow. Yeah, so stop signs are meant for people that have brakes and a throttle that's not stuck. So I'm gonna I'm a take liberty on that one. Oh, insanity, bro, insanity. Oh no, there's a stoplight that I can see from like 30, 40, 50 feet out. Maybe I should grab the brakes. <laughs> oh, it only kind of works. Oh, but it's green, so let's go. Oh, okay, I unstuck the throttle. Mm. But I want to roll in style. Oh, it's stuck already. Okay, cool. Great. It's a little slower this time. Let's get it stuck further up uh, on eco mode. Ow. Ow. Okay, you know what? I, I think that was a pretty good demo. Pretty good demo, if I do say so myself. So there you have it, folks. My GT2 is trying to kill me. Um, I think it's discriminating against me because I'm a chonky gentleman that likes to squat it's jealous of my shelf i don't know anyway y'all um even though the build quality is really great i guess this is a lesson to show that it doesn't really matter things can still go wrong it's their first time making a product like this stay safe take care Boop. how do we turn this off